Hey, this is Brock Richards from Starset, and you're watching Fret 12. I play the Paul Reed Smith Mushox. Um, I've got one in G sharp, one in A sharp, and then I've got my backup guitars which are the ESP, this is the 401B, so it's a baritone. All these guitars are baritones, um, which most of them scale between a 28 inch scale length. So you're, you're able to get that lower tone and it still stays clean. And then this is my backup of backups. They're baritone telly. Um, so the bottom string would be 72 and 13 on the high. Since we have the masks, we can't really see much on the stage, so we tape it up with glow-in-the-dark tape. So it helps you uh, be able to see it through the mask and when it's really dark. Uh, the, only, the next thing we need to work on is fingers, because you can't ever see your... We play planetariums, and you can't see your hand at all, so you're kind of just like guessing. So most of the time I play with my eyes closed, um, but we can move over here to the rack. now. This is pretty much me. I just run the Kemper Profiler with, uh, when I was at home, I profiled a VHT amp. So that's the, actually the profile that I use for majority of our channels. Uh, and then I run the Korg Tuner. And what this does, this will run into the splitter box. One will go to the house, one goes to this, and then runs into all of our channels for our in-ear monitors. So I don't have an amp or a cabinet or anything on stage. So it allows for the, for the stage to be real quiet because um, we use everything on ears so you're able to hear a lot more and it doesn't muck up everybody's you know, sound. So uh, now with the Kemper Profiler, uh, it runs direct so every night you get a more consistent sound I always feel like, and it's, it's a lot easier. Um, and playing baritones, uh, I, I make the tone fit perfectly in the frequency spectrum, so, so like all of our strings and our orchestra stuff comes out. Um, and, and I use the, the Line 6 uh, wireless system. So with the Kemper, we run a MIDI to our interface that's located on the back of this. And with the computer, with the, uh, the electronics we run, when we trigger certain electronics, it'll switch the channel on my amp so I don't have a pedal board. Which is awesome because, like I said, I can't see much on stage. So when I'm home, uh, that's pretty much all I do. I have a little project studio that I just, I sit and I jam. Uh, a lot of like classic rock. Uh, yeah, classic rock, I, I like playing like older metal. Like, uh, one of the bands I love playing the most would be probably Lamb of God, just because it allows you to keep your chops up. Um, I don't play that on baritone though, because that would be pretty difficult. I have a couple ESPs at home, um, and then a couple Fenders, and they're, they're all tuned to like standard and like drop, drop C and stuff like that. Honestly, I went with the Moo Shocks because balls, they're just so low, and like it just, it punches you. And then they're clean. They're clean guitars for being baritones and they just consistently sound awesome. They stay in tune. Uh, let's see, uh, we, did, we did a lot of the record playing on one of those so it matches the tone a lot better than you know, most guitars. Like for instance, uh, this is my backup guitar. The only reason that this is my backup guitar is the pickups, I haven't switched them out yet. These are EMG 81s and for what we play, it's just too much, it's too hot. So once I slap like a JB in there, it'll clean up a lot and then I'll probably use these a lot more. I can see you probably my Kemper. The Kemper mainly because if I had to rent an amp or another Kemper, then I'd have to mess with settings and I'm lazy and I don't like to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew a lot more about the Kemper, mainly because the Kemper's a profiler. Axe Effects 
you can upload sounds and you can do, you know, set your own settings and pretty much do whatever you want. But the pro this profiler has a profiler setting, and so what you do is you put a mic on your cabinet of your amp, like say you're in a studio and they've got like a wall of boutique amps. You can sit there all day and just tweak them and record them through this, and this like mimics the sound with like some kind of fancy algorithm that they came up with. So uh, that's why I chose the Profiler. Uh, it's a VHT Pitbull Ultra Lead. They, they changed their, uh, their, their company name. It's now, what is it, Ferret, Fer, Ferretta? Yeah, Mudvayne used to use them way back in the day. Yeah. That's why I bought mine when, God, that would have been 2005, 2004, 2005. I bought my VHT and that's the, I've owned a few heads, but that's the one I've owned the longest because I'll never get rid of it. Yeah.